The 2024 Epcot Festival of the Arts is about to begin and we now have a full list of everything to expect including the menus for the food booths. This is huge Disney news and I'm going to go over the menus in detail so you can start planning. There's also a new figment popcorn bucket to look forward to, beautiful performances, works of art for purchase, and hands-on art activities. Make sure to stay till the end for some of my favorite festival pro tips. You're watching Park News Magic and this is your complete guide to Epcot International Festival of the Arts at Walt Disney World. Hey guys, it's Nelly, and if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe so you can get the latest Disney news, tips, and updates. Epcot International Festival of the Arts takes place from January 12th to February 19th, 2024, and it highlights the visual, culinary, and performing arts. As you walk along World Showcase, you'll find tents showcasing works of art that you can purchase. You'll also have the chance to meet many of these artists and talk to them. Over at Showcase Plaza, there will be musicians, acrobats, and painters showing you what they can create in just minutes. You'll need to check your My Disney Experience app for daily showtimes. At the Animation Academy, you'll learn to draw your favorite Disney characters. Here's my attempt and my husband's at drawing Wally. -E. This will be available daily at the America Gardens Theater at 12.30 and 1.30 p.m. You'll also get the chance to contribute to a community mural. I love this activity. It's paint by numbers, so you'll receive a paintbrush and paint, and you'll be assigned a few numbers. The mural is usually finished within a few days of everyone participating, and then cast members change it out for a new one. And there's lots of chalk art. Artists will be actively working on the sidewalks, and kids can make their own chalk art on the bridge to Showcase Plaza each day from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You'll also find chalk art of your favorite characters on the building of the different countries around World Showcase. This is sort of an unofficial scavenger hunt, but the official one is Figment's Brush with the Masters. To get started, purchase your map and stickers at Creation Shop, Port of Entry, or World Traveler. Then, search for Figment hiding inside art inspired by famous works at each World Showcase pavilion. Just look for the Figment-themed picture frame. Each time you find Figment, add the corresponding sticker to the pavilion on your map. Once you've found them all, return your map to Disney Traders or World Traveler for a prize, while supplies last. And let's not forget about the Disney on Broadway concert series. Each night, Disney Broadway stars will perform iconic songs from their musicals. There will be three showtimes, 5.30, 6.45, and 8 p.m. This is a free show and you can get in line for general seating. But if you prefer better seats, you can purchase a dining package. This chart breaks it down for you. There are eight restaurants to choose from. Just select what time you'd like to see the show, what time you'd like to eat, and purchase the package. If you want to book this last minute, the Regal Eagle Smokehouse at the American Pavilion has same-day availability. Prices for the dining package range from $36 to $99 per adult. Kids prices range from $21 to $50. There are breakfast, lunch, and dinner options to choose from. And there's tons of special photo opportunities too. Be on the lookout for these step-in frames throughout the festival. There are eight of these backdrops and Disney PhotoPass photographers will be on hand to snap your photo. In other locations, PhotoPass photographers will have special magic shots to add to your photos as well. And we're seeing lots of Figment merch of course because Figment is very prevalent throughout the festival. Here's a preview of what to expect. There is a new Figment popcorn bucket too and I have that coming up for you in just a sec. Now let's talk about the food you'll find at the 2024 Epcot International Festival of the Arts. If you want to download this guide and have access to all the menus in one place, I have a link for you in the description below or just scan the QR code and it'll take you to my website parknewsmagic.com. Remember I said you'll see tents around the world showcase where you can take a look at art pieces? Well the food studios are mixed in with those as well. Each has a different name and many are themed to the particular country pavilion they are close to. There's also a special food scavenger hunt, if you will. It's called the Wonderful Walk of Colorful Cuisine. There are seven items to choose from, but you only need five of them to complete the challenge. You'll get a stamp on your festival passport for each one you purchase, and then you can redeem it at the Deco Delights Food Studio for a complimentary artist palette cookie. Now let's take a look at the menus. At the Deconstructed Dish, you'll find the Deconstructed BLT, which is pork belly, onion bread pudding, watercress espuma, and tomato jam, and the Deconstructed Key Lime Pie, which is flexible key lime curd, key lime mousse, graham cracker cake, and meringues. This is an item from the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. As for drinks, you'll find the deconstructed strawberry mint julep with bourbon as well as a non-alcoholic version of that and a blonde wheat beer. At Cuisine Classique, you'll find a beef wellington as well as a mussels dish with sauteed tomatoes, garlic, and fresh herbs. And for the drinks there, you'll find an IPA and a Pinot Noir. At the Odyssey Pavilion, you'll find Figment's Inspiration Station, art, food, and little sparks of magic. 
they're selling a blueberry filled pastry tart with purple icing that qualifies as an item for the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine and they also have a rainbow cake with freeze dried skittles and the odyssey pavilion is where you will find the figment premium popcorn bucket with rainbow popcorn it is limit two per person per transaction available while supplies last last year the lines were huge so just keep that in mind some days they were sold out and then the next day they had them as they got inventory in stock and some people ended up selling them online on ebay and other sites like that for a hundred to two hundred dollars this popcorn bucket is much different from the one that we saw last year as you can see it looks like the imagination pavilion and it has a little rainbow inside and figment is on top of that rainbow let me know what you think of these figment popcorn buckets and comment figment if you're planning on getting one let's take a look at the drinks that are going to be available at the odyssey pavilion at figment's inspiration station there's going to be a grape smoothie with freeze-dried skittles there's also going to be some hard ciders and a rainbow hard cider flight as well as some ales lagers a fruit tart and a rainbow beer flight at the craftsman courtyard they will have a grilled pork belly sandwich on grilled sourdough bread and a grilled marinated skirt steak sandwich as well those are both new this year for drinks they'll have a nitro oatmeal stout as well as a coffee old-fashioned cocktail the refreshment outpost will not have any food items but they will have a couple of beers over at the pastoral palette they have a red wine braised beef short rib dish and a black forest cake for drinks they have a cider and ale and some rosés including a rosé flight at the artist table they're gonna have a duck and dumplings dish as well as hummingbird cake and they have a lot of new drink offerings including pinot noir beers and a beer flight at tangerine cafe flavors of the medina they will have grilled kebabs chicken and lamb to choose from they'll also have moroccan bread with dips and chocolate cake with pomegranate mousse for drinks they have chai tea with sprite and mint which is non-alcoholic they also have some hard ciders a hard cider flight and they also have a chai tea mint mimosa at encanto cocina they will have chorizo and potato empanada that one counts as an item for the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine and they will also have a passion fruit filled mango cheesecake the encanto cocina will also have coconut and passion fruit smoothies which are non-alcoholic frozen piña coladas and passion fruit daiquiris at gourmet landscapes they will have roasted beets with goat cheese that is a new item and it is also an item on the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine they will also have roasted bone marrow and also a wild mushroom risotto for drinks they will have a rattler some wine and a frozen scotch cocktail the refreshment port is going to have gnocchi poutine with red wine braised beef cheese curds basil and burrata and an artist palette jumbo chocolate chip cookie for drinks they'll have a blood orange cosmo as as well as a blueberry lemon and lavender hard seltzer at deco delights you can find the neapolitan dessert trio which is a chocolate tart vanilla bean cheesecake and strawberry mousse this counts as an item for the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine for drinks there will be some beers as well as a beer flight and an espresso martini with vodka now on to a fan favorite pop eats will have their famous tomato soup with two versions of grilled cheese sandwiches as well as rock the dots white chocolate and orange mousse with vanilla bean chiffon cake which is a new item this year for beverages they will have an ipa as well as sparkling wine with boba pearls the refreshment station does not have any food items but they will feature frozen slushies you can choose from coca-cola dragon fruit or watermelon for a connections eatery they will continue to have their normal menu but they are adding a special orange lemonade cocktail over at l'art de la cuisine francaise you can find creamy brie in a house-made bread bowl you'll also find a salmon mousse dish which is served cold and is new this year another new item is the puff pastry with salmon and spinach and chardonnay shallot sauce served warm or you can get both of them in the duo de salmon hot and cold they'll also have a molten chocolate cake with hazelnut crunch and mango raspberry coulis which is also new this year as for drinks they'll have a frozen french martini elderflower liqueur cocktail a sparkling rosé wine and a pinot noir over at el artista hambriento you will find the carne asada which is chipotle marinated beef sirloin grilled queso fresco nopales salad and queso fresco foam and chicharron dust they'll also have mexican craft beer as well as two different types of margaritas over at goshiki they will have a wagyu bun which is filled with american wagyu beef served with green shisho sauce and a sushi donut which is donut shaped sushi featuring salmon tuna 
banana, shrimp, cucumber, and sesame seed over a decorated plate of wasabi aioli, sriracha aioli, and eel sauce. And for dessert, you can grab the mochi, which is filled with fresh strawberries, sweet azuki bean paste, and white chocolate served with strawberry cream. For their non-alcoholic beverage, they will have a blueberry drink. They'll also feature an orange IPA, some sake, and a blueberry cocktail. Painted Panda will feature General Tso's chicken shell mai, char siu pork bun, and sesame balls with red bean paste. For drinks, they'll have a black and white bubble tea. That's gonna be their non-alcoholic beverage. They'll also have a pale ale and a butterfly pea flower infused cocktail with vodka, light rum, lychee syrup, and magic boba pearls. At Latte di Mangiare, they will have fried mozzarella as well as baked stuffed shells pasta and a chocolate cheesecake with whipped cream. As for drinks, they will have beer, wine, and Italian margarita as well as an elderflower sparkling cocktail. At Swirled Showcase, they will have soft serve in a waffle cone, vanilla, chocolate, or cupcake, which is new this year. You can also get a cream soda float with vanilla soft serve or a strawberry Fanta float with cupcake soft serve. At the Funnel Cake Station, you can get a funnel cake, crazy chocolate funnel cake sandwich that has vanilla ice cream, rainbow whipped cream, strawberry sauce, powdered sugar, and sprinkles. That's new this year. Now let's talk about the new Joffrey's drinks. This one is going to be in World Discovery near Mission Space. It's a pistachio palette cold brew, which features Joffrey's shaken Jamaican cold brew, pistachio syrup, and milk topped with whipped cream and colorful sprinkles. There's also an alcoholic version available with Bailey's Irish cream liqueur. Near Canada, you can find the Realism Roseberry cold brew which features Joffrey's shaken Jamaican cold brew, strawberry rose syrup, and milk topped with whipped cream and colorful sprinkles. There's also an alcoholic version available with Bailey's Irish cream liqueur. At Showcase Plaza near Disney Traders you will find the Brushstroke Berry Bliss which is made from frozen lemon, Minute Maid lemonade, raspberry syrup, and iced tea garnished with lemon. There is an alcoholic version available with Grey Goose Vodka. And over at the American Adventure Pavilion you will find the Pastel Pineberry Frost which is made from frozen lemon, Minute Maid lemonade, and pineberry syrup garnished with lemon. There's also an alcoholic version available with Grey Goose Vodka. Now for some of my favorite pro tips for Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Pro tip number one, grab a festival passport. You can find these at many of the stores, merchandise kiosks, and food studios around World Showcase. They show you the menus and you can check off things as you try them. It's also a must have if you're participating in the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine because that's where the cast members will put the stamps showing that you've completed the challenge and then you'll show that page to redeem your cookie prize. Tip number two, if you're going to participate in Figment's Brush with the Master scavenger hunt, ask for your prize before you even start. That's right, when you buy the map, ask the cast member to redeem your prize right then and there before you start, because if you wait, you run the risk of the prize selling out. This happens all the time with these scavenger hunts at Walt Disney World, and there's nothing sadder than getting all excited to claim your prize after putting in all that hard work the whole day and then finding out that they ran out of prizes. And don't worry, when you ask to redeem your prize, they don't take your map away. They just stamp the back to let cast members know that you've already got your prize. Pro tip number three, take advantage of daylight hours. This is a festival that is very visual and a lot of things end around 5 p.m. when the sun starts going down. So if you or your kids want to paint, draw, or watch others do this, take advantage of all that during the day. The food booths will still be there all night until the park closes so you can hold off on those a little longer. Pro tip number four, make a plan if you're interested in buying the figment popcorn bucket. Last year, guests waited hours in a line that wrapped around the whole park just to get one. It was a different version, but this one is still Figment related, so I expect a long line too. If Disney has learned anything from the past, I hope to see them implement a virtual queue system where you virtually hold your spot in line through the My Disney Experience app. But we don't know for sure and the policy can change day to day depending on the demand. So make sure you check the app to see if they're doing a virtual queue that day. If not, head over to the Odyssey Pavilion and ask the cast member how long they estimate the wait to be. And divide and conquer if you're going with other adults. Maybe you wait in line while your partner gets you guys snacks from one of the food studios or takes the kids to do some chalk painting. This leads me to my last tip. Before you even step foot in Epcot, talk about what your goals are for the festival. If getting that figment popcorn bucket is super important to you, know that you might miss out on some other things in order to get it. Send this video to everyone in your party and come up with a game plan so everyone comes out of this happy. There you have it. That was your complete guide to the 2024 Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Don't forget to comment figment if you want to snag a figment popcorn bucket this year and let me know if you got last year's. Remember to download this guide to have access to all the menus in one place. It's free and I have a link for you in the description below or just scan the QR code and it'll take you to my
my website, parknewsmagic.com. Please like the video and subscribe. It really means a lot. Hope you enjoy the festival and see you next time.